What we have here today is a 36 inch day turd. Yep, probably from about 2003. Basically this is a Dayton 36 inch industrial. I've been after one of these for a while but never really cared enough to go out of my way for one. But then I waltzed into an abandoned school in Gary, and out this came. So, like I said, it dates to 2003, and we are using FanSync once again. As one can kind of see here. Here we go. Yes. 36 inch day turd. Mm hmm. Yeah, good times. So, let's see how this thing performs. The cap values with the fan sync control, you know, this is Bluetooth fan sync, are 5 and 10. Yeah, this one does. So far, the low speed is actually pretty average for a 36 inch fan. This is good. And oddly enough, the bearings in this one are dead silent. Also note the relative lack of yellowing on the canopies. Canopies are plastic. Right? Not much yellowing. Why? This and another 36 inch day turd were actually backstage. All the way, hanging all the way in the back of a stage in the auditorium of said middle school. The building closed in 2018, so these didn't have a lot of time to really decay. But yes, technically this is an Abando fan. Yay. And I failed to mention this earlier, but the model is 4 c 852 a. The original 4C852, I believe, was the ring. I think. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it dates to 03. The bearings are dead silent, which is very unusual for a day turd. Let's see. Day turds, they perform very, very well, but their bearings are absolute shit. The chrome plated garbage. The plating comes off the inner races and it basically it dunks up the bearings, wears them out, and usually these seize up and die. Although, to be fair, the motor is thermally protected. It's not impotence protected. This, is, this one actually has thermal protection. Now let's go to medium. Now, the only thing I don't particularly like about the fan sync controls in their stock form is that the medium speed is rather fast. I mean, not fast enough to cause a resonant frequency, but definitely on the fast side. See, medium is basically a sort of high speed here. Coincidentally, this performance is very similar to that of a 36-inch ring on high speed.
Yeah, now let's... Let's now go to high speed. Now, see the speed difference, now it's really flying. It should also be noted that this fan does have high frequency harmonics. Which is kind of cool. You think it's a buzz, but no, it's just the motor humming. Yeah, the 36 inch day turd is one of the best performing 36 inch industrials I've come across. One of the best. I've yet to come across 36 inch contacts, so I'm not sure how they perform, but I would imagine the day turd still beats them. So yeah, basically I was meandering around this abandoned middle school and uh, I look up backstage and what do I see? Just two turds hanging off the ceiling. Nice. The rest of the auditorium actually had reversible 56 inch Daytons. Or day turds. Yes, reversible. You don't see those very often and they actually were employed to use the reverse functionality as all the switches backstage had reverse switches above the solid state controls. So, good times. The other 36 I got right, has rough sounding bearings. Still pretty smooth, but they're rough. That's your typical day turd, really. This one, though, silent. The 56 inch reversible, also silent, so. I don't know. I'm thinking these fans were used sparingly. You know, since the auditorium isn't used every day, generally, and it's not let often that the fans are always in use. So, I mean, yeah, aside from the lack of UV exposure, judging by the fact that the campies aren't overly yellow, well, they also have good bearings, so these ones didn't see a lot of use, thankfully. You know your industrial's good when it has a super long spin down time. Although, to be fair, the fans were used enough. Just enough to wear the bearings nice and evenly. To the point, you know, just enough to break them in. But not to the point where they're on the verge of failure. 
And there you have it. A 36-inch day turd from 2003.